gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. NCAA College Football Week number nine. Whew. What a week eight we had. We did 25 games. Sorry, 26 games. I can't count. Uh, it was 22 and 4 on the win loss. The four games that I missed on the win loss actually kind of pissed me off, to be honest with you. Obviously, it's a loss, but yeah. But uh, let's see. The first game was Wisconsin got beat by Illinois. A 31 point dog beat you. Come on, Wisconsin. What the fuck were you doing last this Saturday? Um, let's see. Oregon. I was calling for the upset of Washington. I should have just went with the favorite. That wasn't a big surprise. Um, Utah. Again, I went with the uh, underdog, Arizona State. So, not a big surprise there. So, those two are on me. Wisconsin was not on me. Missouri Tigers got beat by a 1-5 Vanderbilt Commodores. Come on, 21-point dog and got beat. Mizzou, Wisconsin, y'all want to win, want to go to the playoffs, can't lose like that. All right, so 22-4 win-loss, 16-10 against the spread, 13-13 on the over-under. Ooh, I am a monster swim, 13-13 Mockingbird Lane. Um, so over year to date, 272 and 71 win loss, 79.3%. Against the spread, 165 and 168, 49.5. Over under, 173 and 160, which is 51.9. Which is made grand total of 60.4% on college football picks this year. So week nine, we just had 20 games. Like I said a few weeks ago, we kind of lowered it from every game to just either the ranked teams or one zero or one loss. Um, so, as those get dwindled down, I won't do less than 20. Um, so, if we start getting where the top 25 are playing each other, and the one loss and zero loss teams are you know, playing one another, I may do some other ones as well, get back doing more. But So, we've got 20 for this week. Uh, first matchup, we have the 16th ranked SMU Mustangs, who are 7-0 versus the 3-4 Houston Cougars. SMU is favored by 13.5 on the road. I got them winning. I got them covering the 13 and a half and over on the 66 and a half. Next up with Tulane Green Wave 5 and 2 versus the 5 and 1 Navy Midshipmen. Navy's favored by three and a half at home. I got them winning covering it under on the 56. Next up we have a Memphis Tigers who are 6 and 1 versus the Tulsa Golden Hurricanes who are 2 and 5. Memphis is favored by 10 and a half. I got them winning covering. Take it under on the 55 and a half. Next up, we have the Boston College Eagles, who are 4-3, versus the 4th-ranked Clemson Tigers, who are 7-0. Clemson keeps winning, but they've dropped from 1st to 4th. Obviously, when you beat North Carolina by 2, that's going to affect a lot of people. But yeah, they keep winning, but they keep dropping. So, we'll see what they're able to rebound and maybe blow out of Boston College. They are favored by 33 and a half. I do have Boston College covering that. Um, I don't like what Clemson has done this year against the spread, so I'm taking the BC to cover. I'm taking under on the 61 and a half as well because they haven't been doing it good against the overall over under either this year. So I'm going opposite of what they of what I think. So next up we have it's got to be a bounce back for Wisconsin. If they have any shot of making the Big Ten uh, title game and going on in the playoffs. We have a 13th ranked Wisconsin Badgers who are now six and one. Versus the third-ranked Ohio State Buckeyes, who are 7-0. I think this game is important for both teams. Wisconsin, they need to come back. They can't lose two in a row because there's no shot of them making the playoffs. So they lose two in a row. Ohio State, on the other hand, it's a big matchup for them. It's a big Big Ten matchup. It's a chance to kind of bury one of the Big Ten competitors. Ohio State is favored by 14. I have them winning, covering, taking under on the 51. I think there's going to be some defense played in there. We have the two, next up, we have the 20th ranked Iowa, Iowa Hawkeyes, 5 and 2, versus the 1 and 5 Northwestern Wildcats. Beware of a 1 and 5 team. Just saying. Uh, Hawkeyes are favored by 9.5. I got them winning. I got Northwestern covering the 9.5, and, and I'm taking over on the 38. Next up, we have the 6th ranked Penn State Nittany Lions, 7 and 0, versus the Michigan State Spartans, who are 4 and 3. Penn State's favored by five and a half. I got the Spartans covering the five and a half. Lions winning and under on the 42. I think there's going to be some defense there as well. 
Next up, we have the three and four Maryland Turpins versus the 17th ranked Minnesota Golden Gophers, who are seven and zero. Gophers are favored by 15 at home, winning, covering under on the 56 and a half. Uh, one of probably one of the best matches for the weekend, I think. Um, besides the Wisconsin Ohio State, we have the eighth ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish, five and one, versus the 19th ranked Michigan Wolverines, five and two. Michigan is favored by two and a half at home. I'm giving the two and a half to Notre Dame. I got the Fire and Irish winning, covering, and under on the 51. Might regret that, but who knows. Next up, we have the 9th ranked Auburn Tigers, who are 6 and 1, versus the 2nd ranked LSU Tigers, who are 7 and 0. Maybe this is the matchup of the week. Two Tigers going against each other with SEC title hopes and playoffs on the mind. Oh boy. LSU favored by 12 at home. I got the Tigers winning. LSU Tigers, that is. I got the Tigers covering. LSU Tigers, that is. And over on the 60. Uh, next up, the Arkansas Razorbacks are 2 and 5 versus the number one ranked Alabama Crimson Tide, who are 7 0. Bama's favored by 33 and a half. I got them winning. I got Arkansas covering because we don't know how hurt Tui is at this point. I haven't looked into it tomorrow today. And I'm taking over on the 57 and a half. Next up, we have the fifth ranked Oklahoma Sooners, Boomer Sooners, 7 0 versus the Kansas State Wildcats here at 4 and 2. Um, Sooners are favored by 21 and a half. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 59. Uh, next up, we have the Oklahoma State Cowboys, 4 and 3 versus 23rd ranked Iowa State Cyclones, who are 5 and 2. Cyclones favored by 8 and a half. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 65 and a half. It is the Big 12, y'all. Uh, next up, we have the 15th ranked Texas Longhorns, who are 5 and 2, versus the TCU Horn Frogs, who are 3 and 3. The Longhorns are a one and a half point favorite on the road. You're giving a 3 and 3 team as a one and a half point dog at home. I'm taking that. I'm giving. The, I'm picking TCU to win. TCU covers that one and a half over on the 61. Next up, we have the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs, 6-1 versus the UTEP Miners, who are 1-5. Bulldogs favored by 18.5, winning, covering, and over on the 52.5. Next up, we have the 6-1 San Diego State Aztecs versus the 2-5 UNLV uh, Rebels. Aztecs favored by 12, winning, covering, under on the 45. Next up, 24th ranked Arizona State Sun Devils, 5-2 versus the 2-5 UCLA Bruins. Sun Devils are favored by 2.5. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 54.5. 4-3 California Golden Bears versus 12th ranked 6-1 Utah Use. Utah is favored by 18.5. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 38.5. Next up, we have the Washington State Cougars 4-3 versus the 11th ranked Oregon Ducks, who are 6-1. The Duckies are favored by 13.5 at home. Cougars are covering the 13.5. Ducks win under on the 65. Last but not least, the 21st ranked. Appalachian State Mountaineers 6 and 0 versus the 1 and 6 South Alabama Cougar Jackson yeah. South Alabama Jaguars who are 1 and 6 uh, Mountaineers are favored by 25 and a half I got them winning covering and under on the 52 So those are the 20 games for week number 9 week number 9 So stay tuned to Robert Sports Show for week 8 of the NFL for week 20 of the CFL. And if you're a pro wrestling fan, check out the Impact Wrestling Bound for Glory review. All those will be up on Robert Sports Show over the next couple days. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader. Sports Show icon.